everyone, it's Fresh Sleep. I just wanted to give you a one month update. Um, I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy on March 14th of 2014, um, and today's the 14th of April. Um, so I wanted to just quickly go over some of the things that have happened in the last two weeks. I don't think I did a video. I've been really, really busy at work. Um, so I haven't even been home much and I did a little bit of traveling, so um, let's start with the last two weeks. So I went from full liquids to, um, you know, more of like the mushy foods, uh, chicken salad, tuna salad, um, deviled ham, eggs, uh, anything mushy, um, did okay on it. I'll be on this for eight weeks, so it's still a lot of trial and error. But I found a lot of things that worked, and I've definitely found some things that do not work at all for me at this point. Um, things that do not work. Beef of any sort, whether it's ground um, or made into a burger or a sausage or anything. If it is made from beef, I have not been able to really eat much. Two bites and I feel sick and full. Um, have not experienced that with any other type of food at this point. Um, not really sure why. I've heard a lot of um, people have had trouble with beef, so I'm not the first one. I won't be the last one. Um, chicken, tuna, turkey. Um, trying to get me the. I did have pork sausage one day. Um, any other type of meat or poultry or fish, I've been totally fine, which rules because. That means I still have so many options that I'm finding more all the time. Um, done a couple different shopping hauls, and I'll show you some of the things that I bought recently. Um, as far as mood or morale, uh, everything's been good. I'm extremely excited about my success so far. I'm not sure what the doctor is going to say when I see them um, on the 20. I think I have to go on the 28th. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to check, but you'll get a video then. But um, so far I've lost 25 pounds, so to me that's crazy and awesome, um, because there had been so many times before this over the last few years where I would lose 10 pounds and then gain 8 pounds. Uh, so, whether it was thyroid related or stress eating or whatever was going on, never have I been able to keep off weight, um, in my adult life and, uh, continue to lose. It's always been extremely difficult, so I'm pumped. Um, everything is good working. I mean, when I went back to work, we're in a little bit of a situation where I have to work a lot more than normal, a lot of overtime, but that's totally fine with me. Um, I got a new car, which is awesome. Um, the week before my surgery, I actually was involved in a hit and run. I got hit on the highway by a crazy person and they totaled my car. I drove a Scion XD 2010 and, um, they totaled it. So, and they took off. And no one's ever going to find them in this city. <laughs> Providence is a place with a lot of hiding spots. So they took off down into the city and they will never be found. But I bought a Kia Soul, which ruled because that's what I've had my eye on for years. Um, so that's another good thing. Saving money left and right because I haven't been buying my food out all the time. Even when I go to the market, I just buy a little bit of stuff because I've noticed that if I buy too much, it sits here forever. I never was the type of person to buy stuff frozen before, um, whether it's because of past weight loss programs I did where they were totally against frozen things or just my own doing. Um, I don't like for things to, to be able to stay around long, but at this point it just seems necessary because I've been buying things and they've been going bad because I can only eat so little and my boyfriend can only eat so much. So. Um, just trying to consolidate what when I go buying um, groceries and not eating out at restaurants or out ordering food all the time, getting sandwiches, whatever on the go, um, has really saved me a bit. So I was able to afford my car and save up um, for whatever I want, really, um, which rules. So <laughs> let's move on to food stuff. So vitamins. My program, I'm not allowed to have any type of gummy, so it's been pretty tough because I cannot take chewing Flintstones vitamins for another day in my life. So I spend a little bit more than I want to, um, but I need to. 
and whatever I've been saving, I'm totally fine with using on vitamins because it's still for me. So I bought um, Isotonics vitamins. I don't know if I showed these before, but um, this is what I used to use when I was in Transitions Weight Loss Systems. Um, it is a powder that you literally pour into the top. This little white top comes off, so it's tiny, a tiny little portion. And you just fill it with the powder, put it in a, the top of it looks like a little shot glass. And then you just put water in it and take a shot of it and you have your multivitamin for the day. The only thing is now I have to take an iron supplement at night because the iron in here is only, where are you? I think it's like, uh, oh, there it is, 15 grams, and my program requires 18. So at night, I take an iron supplement. We'll see if I need to continue doing that after my um, appointment with my blood work, and maybe I'll be okay with just the liquid, but we'll see. Um, other than that, calcium wise, I have the um, Celebrate Chews, I have the Berry ones, and I have. Um, what do you call it? Why can I not remember what these are? Oh, caramel. Um, the caramel chews, I'm not a big fan of the caramel ones. I do like the berry ones. They're kind of like a starburst, so that's good. Um, what else? I also bought the, they have like these little truffle chews, creamy bites. Um, you can go on creamybites.com. They just come in these little packets. And one of them, um, I, I mix it up, so I'll have one of these. It's got 500 grams of calcium, so I don't have to take two, like the chews, but that way I can do t uh, two teaspoons of the liquid one that I take in the morning, I can have the chews at lunch, and I can have the chocolate later on as a treat or something. Um, I've been a big fan of the Nectar Protein. This one's just iced tea, but I have like um, vanilla wafer and all different things. I also took um, sugar-free, uh, caffeine-free, um, coffee packets, the single packets that are kind of like these are the iced tea ones. Oh, to go. Um, but I have these in coffee, sugar free, caffeine free, mixed it with water, made a syrup, and I put that in all my protein shakes just to give me the coffee flavor because I really am missing coffee. I pretty much only ever drink one a day, but I really, um, oh, here's the Calcet shoes. I can't even get this right. <laughs> Calcet citrate. Um, what else? I bought some protein powder from Matrix, it's cookies and cream. It's okay. I wish I would have just gotten chocolate or vanilla, but I didn't. Um, next time I will, though, because it's to drink the same thing over and over. Not good. And um, I have been doing muscle milk vanilla with the coffee syrup or muscle milk chocolates. Um, whatever I have to do to make sure I get in the right amount of protein. Um, some of the things I picked up at the market, whether at Trader Joe's or at Stop and Shop, um, I've got refried beans that they make at Trader Joe's that are actually really good. They have their own seasonings in them, so it's a lot better than just plain. I just got, uh, you know, great northern beans, white beans to mix with some seasoning. Oh, the seasonings, I'll show you later, but I bought Flavor God seasonings. I've been seeing them a lot on Instagram. I finally broke down and bought them, and they rule. Um, I got... Just the Cracker Barrel cheese slices, they're already sliced, and for three slices, it is seven grams of protein. I got the tzatziki sauce, um, instead of using salad dressings, two tablespoons, uh, 30 calories, 15 from fat, two proteins, so that's good. Um, seafood stuff, I bought, these were on sale, so I just picked them up. I'm not big on shrimp, but I'm going to try couple different kinds, see what I like. 180 calories for half of this pouch, which I could probably only eat three of them, so it'll last me a long time. They're frozen. 17 grams of protein. They're just like lemon, garlic, butter, shrimp, whatever. Um, I never used this before, but my mom makes like seafood salad and stuff with it. I'm going to try to do a couple different things, like a bake and stuff, saute. Um, it's just called Lobster Delight, imitation lobster meat. And it's got 70 calories and half a cup, six proteins, uh, one sugar. This is more of like a treat. My boyfriend loves pulled pork, so um, I kind of got this to just go on the fly with. Um, but it doesn't have anything crazy in it. I always check ingredients because I don't like chemicals or processed things. 
um, especially when it comes to meat, but I was just like running out of time at the market and picked it up. Um, but it's not too bad for two ounces, 140 calories, 10 grams of protein, and it's just pulled pork. And it's just in like the frozen, not frozen section, the um, meat section. What else? I think that's it for what I had to show. Um, I did buy Nioxin, which is like a shampoo um, because your hair will start to thin at around two months, three months. It's different for everybody. I have a sh ton of hair, so <laughs> I'm okay with it thinning out a little bit. Just depends where, I guess. But um, I bought Nioxin, pro um, the whole program, so we'll see how that goes. And other than that, what else did I buy? Um, a lot of cookbooks. Um... My kitchen scale, I bought one, uh, just the biggest loser one from Taylor. You can get it at Bed Bath & Beyond for like 15 bucks. But I weigh everything that I eat because even though it says an ounce on a package, I don't believe it. So, <laughs> Or if I want to add things, I need to know. Um, the Flavor God seasoning that I bought, it's just one dude. He's a chef, makes them himself. It's got no MSG, no salt, gluten-free, paleo. A lot of people compare them to Mrs. Dash. Um, but I think they're way better because the package, they're huge. Um, let me see if I have a Mrs. Dash, actually, we can compare. I do. Okay, so Mrs. Dash is this one. There we go. And Flavor Gods is huge. <laughs> so you get... Uh, five ounces, Mrs. Dash is three ounces. Um, they come in spicy, um, garlic lovers seasoning, everything seasoning, and lemon garlic. And they're all awesome. Um, I just throw it on everything. If I make egg salad, I put it in. If, even if I make a fried egg, if I make um, corned beef hash, if I make anything, tuna salad. I just throw it in there because it makes it a little bit better. Um, well, a lot better, but it's already good. So <laughs> anything's better than liquids. Um, so I guess I'll do a body shot um, at one month. Let me get this out of the way. I don't think I did one before anyway. Well, I can only go back so far. Or maybe I can go into here. You can't really see. I don't have a light in here. Um, but this is at one month, uh, 199 So, not too bad. Pretty happy with it. This is like an old shirt. Um, my friend's record store in Providence. Olympic records, it rules. Um, so yeah, one month down, a million to go. Um, extremely excited. Everything's going great. Really pumped. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to post them below in the comments and I'll include them in the next video. I'm probably going to do one next week because I'm going to try to do um, the gym all week this week. I've only gone twice since because they told me to wait four weeks before cardio, six weeks before. I mean, like, I do Zumba, water aerobics. They don't want me doing that until six weeks, so I'm only at four now. Um, so, yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. I might even do, I've bought P90X. I have... Uh, insanity, all of those things. I have the um, resistance band workout. So I'll be doing a lot of that this weekend. I'll probably do a video next week about it, um, see how I feel. Um, but if you do any type of workout one month out, let me know because I'm interested to hear what other people are up to. Um, hope everyone is well, and I'll see you next time.